Idea. Why don't you learn massage? You could do it at home, like for actors and act. You can earn a fortune. 20 pound an hour, maybe. There aren't any actors around here, Bill. I'm gonna learn computers. You can earn a fortune. I thought you were gonna be a stand-up comedian and earn a fortune. I am gonna be a stand-up comedian. It's just, well, if I could earn some money, I could go abroad, concentrate on writing some material. Abroad? How are you gonna afford that? With the computers? But you just made that up. Anyway, I thought you were going to be a, a journalist. I am. You see, if I could earn some money at the comedy, I could afford to go to Istanbul, start sending some articles back, be a foreign correspondent. You see, the thing is, I can always do the funny pieces as well. What are you on about? Rose, I've told you all of this before. Exactly. Yeah, but it's a new angle this time. I can buy a word processor. Cosy, can you tell us what the job situation is like? Well, the job situation in Compton at the minute is ironic, in my point of view, really. Because we have all these big businessmen on all the big industrial states, such as Number One, Iverson. They said they brought so many jobs into concert, creating so many jobs. The fact is, people like me kind of get the jobs because it's not what you know, it's who you know. And what sort of jobs are there? What sort of jobs are there? Packing and nappy factories and stuff like that, which to me isn't work really. It's pretty boring. <laughs> I think it's second to none, it's a lovely area, you know, we've got skin in the countryside, you know, on the verge of Devon Valley. The people are wonderful, you know, and I think it's just top notch, it's the best place I've ever lived. It's fantastic. And apart from that, I'd never move. Never ever. I'm not settled. One, two, three. The old band was Bill Podmore's nose. We used to be like an outrageous comedy band, totally outrageous. Like, uh, we used to take a huge fridge on the stage and a big massive nose and exploding wart on it. Or um, vomiting Margaret Thatcher. Uh, I, used to, <laughs> I used to dress up as a fairy, six foot eight fairy with tattoos. <laughs> and uh, 
we used to, we did a couple of our own songs, but we did a lot of covers of like comedy stuff. It was good, we got a great reaction in concert. We got a great reaction down Durham as well and Middlesbrough. It went down quite well. I, I, I'm sorry that we split up because it was something to do. It did take our minds off not having a job. Terribly, uh, terribly optimistic. Um, um, I do feel sometimes a bit like a tourist who's been to a, a new holiday resort and uh, found it to be wonderful and wants to tell all his friends about it but doesn't want to see them all on the same beach the next year. the stage, international cabaret artist, the one and only Silk Stockings. It is a bit soul destroying for a lot of people, you know, like uh, when the wives are going out to work, you know, and the men are sat at home doing the whole thing and everything like that. It uh, gives you no know, hard, like, you know, the weekend when they're working with the, you know, the pay packet and you were just more or less hovering about, like, you know, hoping for pennies, you know, to see if you can get out of the club or something like that. That's, I'd love to see employment around here. Everybody in full time work. None of this three day week like, you know, just full time. Then everybody can get back to normal. I've been happy again, instead of miserable. this afternoon. He says if you've got a degree from Oxford or Cambridge or whatever, you can easily just walk into one of these fellowships at the university or a job with Coca-Cola or something. But you haven't got a degree from Oxford. Yeah, but want to get me diploma for the computers? You could come with me, Rose. Look, I've told you, all I want to do is to get a job and get married. Well, I'll marry you. You're married? Yeah, but somewhere in America you're allowed two ways. Somewhere in America? Go home, Bill, you're drunk. Salt Lake City, I think. Half past ten on a Sunday morning, you've got all these Hoorie Henrys shooting off guns. And it doesn't matter that we're waking up five, six, seven hundred people. It's going, ha, 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 throw another one in the air, bang. You know, it really gets on my nose. I mean, this barbed wire springs up. It really, it really gets me angry because it, it, it brings to mind this, the story of uh, a guy who was walking on this person's land. And, and the, the typical landowner jumps up and says, what, what are you doing on my land, eh? And the guy said, well, I'm just, just walking. Mm -hmm. This is my land. Get off. Get your shorty little feet off my land. And, and the guy said, well, look, I'm just, I'm just over a walk. How, how come it's your land? Well, it was given to me by my father. And it was given to him by his father and his father before him. And the guy said, well, how, how did he get it? He fought for it, yes. So the guy says, right, you bastard, I'll fight you for it now. You know? And I think there's not enough of that left now. That's the trouble. That's a shame. Come on, easy. Come on. 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 Come on.
Figure. These are the Giuseppe figures, which were very well known for selling the Giuseppe Armani. The thing is, if you buy an expensive piece of porcelain like this, it'll always go up in value. I mean, the detail on Can you see her eyes sparkling there? She's got beautiful, sparkly eyes. There's a range of four of those, so you don't have to stop at just one. And then these small ones. These are Belcaris again. Tremendous amount of detail in these figures. You can see how it's worked, even down to her hair at the back. A lot of detail in it. And that one is $24.95. Beautiful, I think, for a wedding present, that. Right, now. We have one, two, three, four of them. Another side, we have four corresponding straps. Each again, copper riveted. One, two, three, where's that? Four. We also have a crotch strap and buckle. Much for us to do around here. I mean, we'll go to the drop in centre. We'll go to the drop in centre, but like it closes at nine o'clock. That's think that's how much crime's been going on around here. Like, cause after nine o'clock, people's got nothing to do and they don't want to sit in the house all the time. And then you get like the over forties and whatnot, seeing all of them hanging around the streets and that. But they don't know that there's nothing to do. Cause bingo for them to go to. We're getting very heavily involved internationally, uh, mainly in the production of water, which is a very big uh, commodity for the future. In fact, it's more valuable than oil. At the minute, it's something like uh, 55 pence a litre, and oil something like 37 pence a litre. So water is going to be the, the future. <laughs> No, we don't, in, in the traditional sense of the question. We do encourage those people who are union members to wit uh, fitters and electricians to keep up their cards so that they maintain their, their associations and skills and all of the benefits that, that, that come from that. But what we've attempted to achieve and what we seem to have achieved so far is a level of communication and, and working with each other at all levels. Uh, although there are the usual hierarchical distinctions and we now have an upstairs and a downstairs, quite literally, in the offices. Uh, there hasn't been any uh, request or need for the formation of a union to represent the, um, the needs of any particular group of employees. concert in County Durham was devastated when its steelworks closed with the loss of three and a half thousand jobs. Today the town is thriving and its rebirth has been hailed as a model of the way aid will be given to the regions in the future. Uh, I think that's a lot of rubbish, you know. There's jobs with very low paid ones. I mean, factory work, not many people like it. And they're abolishing the unions while the privatisation. And I mean, there's men fought and died for decent wages. And since the concert government moved in, they're just killing those wages off, you know? It's terrible. Why do people put up with it? Well, there's no more other jobs to take, and if you pack it in, someone else is going to come to your job anyway, you know? So the best just keep the mouths shut, you know?
getting into the game of confidence building and belief in itself and in its community. The people in Derwentside know what they're about, a loyal workforce, a flexible workforce, a group of people that have a commitment to their area. And as far as I'm concerned, the strategies and policies have been supported by that community. That community has its own belief and we will get a new uh, economy developed into this area that will stand the test of time. This is the former BSC Works um, concert site. Um, or rather a small part of that, it's actually 700 acres. Um, 6,000 people worked here at one point in time. And at the time of the uh, closure, 3,400 people made redundant. Um, the works, in fact, dominate the area. Well, it was one of the biggest steel works in Europe. Absolutely massive. When you look at it now, it's hard to believe what was there. It was absolutely huge buildings, power station, steel mills, blast furnaces. Amazing now to see it. Devastated. I was totally uh, disorientated because everything I'd set my sights on had gone. And the same was for most of the people I knew. And the, the whole, my whole perspective had to change because my basic where I was from had gone. It just had totally gone. Company! Company, squad commanders, fall in! Yes, I used to be a manager at British Steel, and um, I always remember the, the last day of the works closing down with everyone uh, going home with all their goods and shuttles, as it were, the, the last day at the company, and uh, going to who knows what, and it had a very profound effect on me, and I felt that, you know, I ought to try and do something about it, and I think that's probably why the church and the boys brigade uh, became involved in MSC programs. Well, it gives us a bit of extra money, and that's about all. It gives us something to do for eight hours. Other than that, we'd just be sitting around the house, or maybe going to the library or something like that, or ending up like the kids on the bus stand here, <laughs> wasting time. Yes. Disneyland down there would have made a fortune with me, Mark Piffer says, right? Did I tell you about that? Yes. It was going to be a huge chemistry set, but proper like what the professors have. Bunch of burners, test tubes and all that. Found Hadn't it. quite finished the research, but it was going to have carriages that roared up and down these little things with little explosions and that. And at the end, it was as really fast into this coloured bubbling water and everybody screams, Are just like the water what, shoot. Man? I'm definitely going to get fit next year. Do you know how you can be bothered to think like that? I am, though. Really fit. Rippling. No way, man. Rippling. I had no identity left. Uh, they couldn't say what was going to be the future for them. 
had been an industrial community for centuries. And here we were, faced with total manufacturing and industrial collapse. I think the other thing was, there was a political importance. Here we were faced with a central government that had destroyed manufacturing industry, but in no way did they have any sort of plan to regenerate regions like um, Germanside. Uh, so what the politicians did is they turned to perhaps the simplest of arguments, was that we had to find the identity um, for the future and the, the identity which was our past. I give you a toast, ladies and gentlemen. I give you a toast, ladies and gentlemen. May this fair land we love so well in dignity and freedom dwell. The world may change and go small beside a field of grain there'll always be an England while there's a busy street wherever there's a turning wheel a million marching feet red, white and blue what does it mean Now, let's just recap what I made at the moment. We have the thumb cuffs, escape proof. The chain, the lock, escape proof. Then the pair of handcuffs, escape proof. Now, according to all the laws of physics, escapes and signs, I shouldn't be able to get out of this. Yet, all I need is a simple bent hairpin and a lot of scale. Watch and be amused. <laughs> You know, when I was a young and I was like National Front, but it's, I've grown out of that now. I think I'm Labour now, you know, because they care for the people. Well, I don't think the present government do much by the state, but in the rest, just sound like windbags to me. They come to the <laughs> They never come back. And it's just so all over us. What do you do for a laugh, friend? Listen, I'm 
Well, basically, my views on politics is I don't vote for anybody because most politicians, to me, these days, really basically just want to get themselves to the top. They promise you everything and they don't give you anything in return when they get there. radical nationalism as it actually stands today. They've been removed and the National Front has moved towards a policy of distributism which involves workers' cooperatives and basically goes back to the works of people like uh, Hilaire Belloc, G.K. Chesterton. We obviously workers' cooperatives with no more than 100 people working within those cooperatives. Those lads called me fat ass. Ah, I think they were talking to me. Tell you what, let's play and give us a clue. No. Go on, you can start. Anything you like. Films, books, anything. I'll do one. Thought you would. Well? I haven't a clue. <laughs> oh, Bill, don't do it again. Well? What am I? I don't know. A steel worker? Really? I was hot joking. What we used to do I'm was... I'm not bothered. Rose, you wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for the company. That's a real shame, isn't it? This is made of hard, tempered steel with two holes, one neither end. Okay. At the very beginning, when the steelworks closure took place, we did actually consider all sorts of possibilities. And uh, BSE Industry, for example, sponsored a trip by um, some of the councillors and the industrial development team to go to Mondragon, where they have uh, the cooperative movement, it was born there, uh, to see whether there was anything we could learn from that experiment, for example. But we really came to the conclusion after that visit and uh, other considerations that uh, it wasn't fair to use the people of concert as social guinea pigs for experiments which may or may not work. There certainly are no off the peg solutions. Um, there's no blueprints for a future. Um, and therefore, I am talking about an experimental uh, situation. 
um, but not a situation where people should be experimented on, but where we should use resources to allow communities to experiment themselves and rather being contained through existing supposedly training schemes. You know, I mean, we've got to ask the question, training for what? Um, rather than being contained um, through MSC schemes, that resource should be used to encourage people to begin to critically address the situation they find themselves in, uh, to analyse, uh, to use imagination, to experiment themselves, and to begin to formulate solutions to their problems as they see them, i.e. to formulate their own futures. The advertising budget for JTS, YTS, is £15 million. Pounds. Well, we're all talking about YTS is really in the... Concert at the BSC town was turned into concert at the MSC town. Oh, they like it. good. People between uh, 18 and 35. Actually is the most well-trained goal queue in Britain. Going in the York, that's a... Dramatic thing when people lost their jobs. It was one step up from the door. All we've got is, it, is these schemes. I didn't, I mean... On a political level, is social containment. I mean, the first day there, I was scrubbing toilets. I mean, it's, it's, it's like Russia there. Part time, non unionised, extremely low paid jobs. Just have to grin and bear it. Involvement with the church and the boys' brigades and the caring activities. Most of my friends have been on YTSs and community programmes. Well, did you see? There's not many got full-time jobs. I don't know how you can wear those trunks. Far below the national rates of pay. In many cases, at just over a pound an hour. We've also been told people are living in the industry. Only thoughts, though. Only ideas. Even right now, I'm not to be Oh, we're to imagine that the young women are going to these people to try and have dinner, have tea. to find out who's and they won't get another job and that no other employer in the area will employ them. And who can blame them for being so Yeah, all my views are not exactly the same. Well, it's uh, Andy Vandal. Um, no stopping the uh, windows getting broke. You have to watch out for uh, graffiti arts as well. I have to do a lot of writing, you know, like graffiti and breaking windows, you know. I think we've got to do, what we've also got to do is we've got to examine very carefully what we mean by unemployment. I think in September I'll go back to college and I'd like to do theatre arts, you know, drama. And Therefore, we must explore different avenues, social avenues, whereby people have the right to have the choice over their own destiny. I went to, uh, to art college and I worked in theatre for the last six, eight years, all over Britain and abroad. Uh, I worked cabaret, singing. So I, I developed talents that could never have been come to the fore when I was working as a fitter in the steelworks. I mean, and, and to me, personally, it's been very fulfilling. I've learned a lot. Um, and I've enjoyed it. And the irony is I didn't want the place to close and I, I still wish, part of me still wishes that it was open. Pardon me, it still feels bereaved. Bereaved. It's a deep sense of loss. But ironically, I've, I've lived, enjoyed living this last eight years. It's been really fulfilling. What, what would be your vision for the future of concert? My vision for concert? It's a hard one. Um, I'd like... I'd like concert to have a sense of identity again. I would.
do that. Not here, mate. In the clubs in London. What, in between being a stand-up comedian and a foreign correspondent? Next year will be great. I can feel it. And for you, Rosie. Said that last year. Yeah, well, OK, I was wrong. But next year... This year isn't over with yet. Oh, it's next year, next year. There's no point, Bill. There's no point in thinking ahead. There's no point in thinking past right now. This is what we are. Battle, receding hairline. Nothing and a nobody. And there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, I'm not nothing. I've got plans. I had one full-time job and it lasted three hours. And the guy says I wasn't good enough. And that was it. And that was peeling shrimps. I hate shrimps as well. <laughs> I think that most people are scared in case they mention, like, starting a union. That could lose the job if the employers don't agree with it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Howie! Good morning, Penny. Well, that's a bit of a businessman's question, businessman's answer. Um, why not, I guess, is one of the answers. There's lots of fast-moving consumer good business in the Northeast and always has been, but to be more precise, uh, the answers are facilities, infrastructure, quality, and quantity of labor. Well, the wages are pretty rubbish. Like, more or less about, they're coming home for about 60 pound, 40 hour week in that, which is, to me, is not on like. I week at 1.34 now. And some people, people come out with like three pounds an hour. You're going to leave young people so disillusioned, and you can see it every day, even in our community, which has been a very strongly defined, structured, cultured community. You can see that these things are breaking down, and violence, and violence is going to be the answer. And that, and, and sometimes, is what they're advocating. But all party plan is very friendly. Obviously, we have a, a board of directors who run the company, but the girls are all very friendly. It's all first name terms, right up to the managing director level. And it's a very social evening. You know, there's no pressure selling at all in party plan nowadays. The idea that an industrial heaven is around the corner waiting for the right entrepreneur to come along is a total gross misrepresentation of concert and its people. Well, several years ago, I was involved with my own company which is called uh, Dale and Brewery. Uh, unfortunately, went to the war just shortly after the, the works closed, you know. And uh, more or less since then, I haven't worked. It's a lovely flower vase, yes, but it's one of those items that if you don't have a bunch of flowers in it, it doesn't look like a big empty flower vase. It's a nice piece anyway. These ones, these are unusual. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, unusual. I mean, there's not many things you can buy, absolutely everything like that. And then you get your hands. And those are very reasonable. It's 4 for a pair. You put, put your rosé wine in it and look even better. and it didn't really involve the whole community.
one site, hitherto a green field occupied by nothing but cows. We are also talking about every other cow. I step into the bag and say my final farewells. I hope to see you later on. This is the final padlock going on there. Wayne is now secure. Now after three, we go one, two, three. I like to read about concert and the Iron Company, and it's when it was here. That's a picture of it there. It's all just wasteland now. And one of my favorite phrases is, it's out of this book. It says, the sight of concert is both terrible and magnificent from far away. You have everything that's good about England, which is here. All of the animal life, all the bird life, red squirrel, you have badges, everything which makes life possible and when you're walking through you can enjoy this. I don't know, it's just I like being outdoors and enjoy being out and about. I don't like being like stuck in one place all the time, doing the same thing day in, day out. I'd rather be doing something different all of the time. got it this time. I met this band. They're really impressive. They write all their own songs and they look great. They're called sewing machine. All they need is a singer. Get to the point. There is one. No, really. They want me to manage them. So I'm going to get a demo tape together, go down to London and take it round all the recording companies. Yeah, that's what I'll do. London must be in here somewhere. <laughs> Smell her a mile off. Chris. Working with bloody crisps all day. Can he wages so? though? Crisps aren't so bad. Job at the crisp factory. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's not a lot to ask for, is it? If I could get some really good photos of them, it'd be. Oh, shut up, will you? What's the matter? Go away, you depress me. Depress you? But it's exciting what I'm telling you. But it's all talk. None of it's ever going to happen. But it might. There's so much out there for you. You could just go off for the bag and find it all. But I'd still be me. I don't want to go to interesting places with a bag. I'm 20. All of my friends are married with kids, even you. And I haven't got a kid or a man or a bag. I don't want to be one of those women walking around at 50 with a bag with no one to love us or care for us. But you could be rich and famous. I don't want to be rich and famous. I just want to be safe. I don't want a bag. <sighs> I haven't got a bag. I could lend you a bag. I've got this really good one that I made with flaps Bill, and I'm things. not going anywhere. I think people will, because people tend to do that, bury their head in the sand like ostriches and stuff. To me, I think what the clicking need is a revolution, really. But if it happens, it's a different thing. I just don't know if there's as many people think that way. And uh, just finally, you, at one point you thought of joining the army. What happened there? Well, I went down, I passed my exams, passed my medical, I think, and I said I'd have to wait six months before I could go in. And I thought about it, and I changed my mind, because the army wanted to be a soldier first then a tradesman. 
Whereas I want to be a tradesman first and not a soldier. Because it's against all my morals to be a soldier. Help us in times of temptation. Make us strong where we are weak. Give us courage in difficulty, faithfulness in duty, loyalty in friendship, and finally, by your mercy, bring us into your everlasting kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Hands on.